Hello everyone, I am Kont and welcome to my step-by-step -step guide on getting Knight's Honor achievement in Dark Souls. I'm going to show you the way which I think is the easiest and the fastest of getting this achievement, but you can do it in any order that you want. Just make sure you are grabbing everything that you need on your way. So let's begin. First weapon that you can get is Drake Sword and you can get it by shooting down Hellkite Drake's tail with a bow from under the bridge. If you don't have a bow, just get one from Undead Merchant. Next one is a weapon from Gargoyle Tail and it's called, well, Gargoyle Tail Axe. It's pretty easy to get, just wait till he lands and run around him and get his tail. Next one on the list is probably going to be Dragon King Great Axe, cut from Gaping Dragon's Tail. Getting this one shouldn't give too many problems. His tail doesn't have too much HP and he is usually not very mobile. To get Knight's Honor achievement you are going to need a lot of boss souls. First one is from Quillax, so when you kill her make sure not to use her soul because you are going to need it later. The same thing applies to Iron Golem, when you kill him grab his core but do not use it yet. When you enter Honor Londo, first weapons that you are going to need are Havel's Great Shield and Dragon Tooth. They are located in a chest behind hidden wall, here is a way to get them. Next weapon is called Dragon Slayer Great Bow. It can be picked up from a corpse. Here is a way to it from room before Orstein and Smoke boss fight. After you get the bow, you can go fight Orstein and Smaug. But be careful which one of them you kill first because you will get different souls depending on that. And you will need both of them later. I decided to kill Ornstay last during my first playthrough. Because of that, I will need to kill Smoke last during New Game Plus. After defeating Smaug and Ornstay, you can work between bonfires and now is a good time to take care of a lot of unfinished things. First thing I would recommend doing is to come back to the Undead Asylum. If you don't know how to do it, simply jump down from an elevator that leads to Undead Parish and take the path that I'm showing. When you come back to the Asylum, go to the place where you first met Oscar, the knight that gave you Estus Flask at the beginning of the game. Sadly, you have to kill him and take his crest shield. After that, go back to your cell and grab Peculiar Doll, because you will need it in a moment. Now you can go back to Anor Londo, lower the staircase elevator and go into the church with a big painting to enter Painted World of Ariamis. But before you do it, grab Black Iron Great Shield, which is right before the painting on the left. Now you can go into the painting. In the painted world, grab Annex key from the well and take the path that I am showing to get Velka's rapier. One more pickup weapon that you need from painted world is Blood Shield that you can get it from Corpse, which is on the bridge in front of the undead dragon. After that, proceed through the area and go to Priscilla's boss fight. This part is going to be very tricky because you need to cut her tail off and she has very little amount of HP. The easiest way of doing that is to go behind her when she isn't hostile and try to cut it in one big hit. As you can see, unfortunately I missed and she became immediately invisible and it is almost impossible to cut the tail if you can't see her. If you find yourself in this situation, just grab a weak weapon and spam it until she staggers and it's easy to stray behind her and get the cut. After you kill her, get the soul because you will need it later. Now let's talk about the weapons that you will come across when you go for Lord Souls. Let's begin with the way to Nito. First of all, if you encounter Patches the Hyena, forgive him about everything he does to you and never tell him that you are a cleric. If you answer his every question correctly, he will become available as a merchant in Firelink Shrine so you can buy Crescent Axe from him because this is the weapon that you need for the achievement. Or you can just kill him and save yourself all the trouble. You can also buy one Eye of Death if you don't have any because you will need it later. While you are in Catacombs, you should grab Dark Moon Sian's Ring because you will need it later. Here is a way to it from the Catacombs Bonfire.
Next one is called Effigy Shield and is located in Tomb of the Giants. Here is a way to getting it from the first bonfire. Ok, for the last thing in Tomb of the Giants you will have to reverse hollowing and become human so you can get invaded by Paladin Leroy at the end of the tomb. You have to kill him and grab Grant and Sanctus from his body. After killing Nito, warp to Anor Londo, then go to the Starkes elevator and lower it to the bottom, then equip Dark Moon Sian's ring and go fight Gwyndolin so you can get his soul. Next weapon on your way will be Moonlight Greatsword cut from Sif's tail. The easiest way to cut his tail off is to bait him to destroy his magic crystal. So just stand near the crystal and wait for him to attack. When you see an attack coming your way, run around him and try to hit the tip of his tail as fast as you can. Next enemy that has something that you need is Fire Sage Demon. Simply kill him to get Demon Catalyst. For next weapon you have to kill Daughter of Chaos, located just before Bed of Chaos boss fight. Next two bosses on your way are located in Darkroot Forest. First one is Sif, so kill him and grab his soul. Next boss from Darkroot is Moonlight Butterfly and you also fight it for its soul. Next two weapons are Astora's Stray Sword and Dragon Crest Shield. Here is a way to them from the doors between Valley of Drakes and New London Ruins. For the next weapon you have to go to the end of Ashlake, the everlasting dragon and cut his tail off. Don't worry, he won't become hostile. After you have all the mentioned weapons it's time to start grinding. First of all, go back to Sand's Fortress for the Golden Serpent Ring. Here is a way to it from the staircase with falling boulders. When you reach this wall, just wait for boulders to break it and grab the ring. After that you should consume as much humanity as you can, but no more than 10, to boost your item drop rate. Of course you should also equip your serpent ring and now it's time to grind some enemies. Let's begin with farming stone, great shield and great sword from stone knights in dark root forest. You can find them in an area in front of moonlight butterfly boss fight. These are rather common drops and it shouldn't take too long to farm them. If for some reason you are having problems with getting stone, great sword, there is one more way to do it. First join forest hunters covenant and talk to Shiva, who is located near the cut that led you into the covenant. Don't work. Then go down to Blind Town and find Shiva near the area with big wooden elevators and then just simply buy the sword from him. Next weapon is called the Giant's Halberd and it is much more or less frequent drop. You can farm it from Giants in Anor Londo. I recommend killing the 6 Giants that are near the first bonfire because I think that this is the fastest path. If you are having problems just try baiting them one by one and you should be fine. After that, go a bit deeper into Anor Londo, into the main castle. 
There you have to farm silver knights for free weapons, a spear, a straight sword and a shield. The shield is dropped by every one of them, but some of them are wielding spears and some straight swords. So when you need only one of these weapons, you can stop farming one time of this enemy. Now is the time for the most annoying part of getting knights on our achievement. It's the time to farm Channeler's Trident in the Duke's archives. This one is an extremely rare drop and even with my item discovery stat maxed out, it still took me 2 hours to get it. I am gonna show you the quickest path but be prepared for a long farming session if you want to get this one. As you see I am running past most of the enemies which is very risky but if I wanted to kill every one of them every time it would just take too much time. Tridents drop only from these two channelers so you really have to be lucky to get it but it is certainly possible. Also I recommend bringing a lot of homeward bones so after you run the whole path you can simply warp back to the bonfire and start it again. After you get the trident you are almost done with farming, you can now go to kiln and farm black knights for their weapons. You are going to need one great sword, one regular sword, one great axe, one halberd and one shield. And just like silver knights every one of these can drop black shield but weapons are specific to each one of them so when you get for example black knight halberd you can stop killing the knight with halberd because he won't drop any other weapon except shield of course. First one of the knights has regular sword, next one has great sword, next one has regular sword again, next one has great axe and the last one has a halberd. After that you're ready to fight Gwyn and go to New Game Plus. Also don't use his soul because you will need it. In New Game Plus at the beginning of the game you should kill Asylum Demon when you first encounter him because he will drop Demon's Great Hammer which you might need later. Now you can play the game normally for a while but there are still some boss souls that you need to get and save for later. Get one more from Sif and from Moonlight Butterfly. Then one from Quillac, Iron Golem and one from Gwyndolin. Then on Ornstai and Smoke Fight kill Smoke as the last one if you killed him first in your first playthrough or do the opposite if you killed Ornstai first. The next weapon that we are going to need is Dark Hand and you can get it from farming Dark Raves in New Londo. But I don't think that it is worth it because there is one simpler way to get it. If you want to get it easier just grab Lord Vesser after killing Ornstein and Smoke and go straight to 4 King boss fight without talking to Frampt in Firelink. If you didn't talk to Frampt after killing 4 kings a serpent called Kath should appear. She will let you place Lord Vessel on the altar and then you can join Dark Raves to simply get the Dark Hand. Of course you could do all of this in first playthrough but I prefer doing this in New Game Plus. For the next weapon simply join Gravelord Covenant. Here is a way to it from Bonfire in Catacombs. Of course you have to do it before killing Nito. And you need to have one eye of that in your inventory. Now all that is left is crafting weapons and there are many ways of doing this part but I will keep it as simple and straightforward as I can because I don't want this to be too complicated. So let's begin. First you are going to need a lot of normal weapons so go to a blacksmith Andre and get one battle axe, one Cistus, two pikes and a shield. Then grab a halberd from Undead Berg if you don't have any. Then go to Undead Merchant and grab a bow and a scimitar. Then kill him to get his Uchigatana. After that go to Crestfallen Merchant and buy two great swords and the tower shield. Also I assume that you have straight sword healed from the beginning of the game. If not just farm some undeads for broken straight sword. Then go down to New Londo and buy a catalyst from Rickard. And the last weapon is Demon Great Hammer that you got from Asylum Demon. 
For the next part you are going to need a lot of souls because you have to upgrade every mentioned weapon except Catalyst to plus 10. There are 14 upgradable weapons and for each you are going to need 9 titanite shards and 9 large titanite shards. After you did this go to Giant Blacksmith in Anor Londo and start making weapons from boss souls. From broken weapon, great sword of Artorias. From great sword, another great sword of Artorias, just don't mistake these two because there are different weapons. From second great sword, make great lord great sword. From Uchikatana, make chaos blade. From scimitar, quillax fury sword. From Battle Axe, Golem Axe. From Demon's Great Hammer, Smoke's Hammer. From First Pike, Moonlight Butterfly Horn. From Second One, Dragon Slayer Spear. From Halbert, Life Hand Scythe. From Sistus, Dragon Bone Fist. From a bow, make Dark Moon Bow. From a catalyst, thin dark moon catalyst. And from a shield, make crystal ring shield. After all that, you should be left with plus 10 tower shield, which you are going to need in new game plus plus. So when you are done with crafting, just finish the game again and start it in new game double plus. Now just kill Sif again, reach Anor Londo, and craft great shield of Artorias. And this is how you get this achievement. It's hard and complicated, but doable. Thanks for watching and fuck the channelers.